churches. He's a schoolboy football, a team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows so around. Come enjoy the show. He's a school for that man of course Rashawn Small four goals four assists for them let's have a quick look at the lineup for Jackie High in goal Kamari Johnson Omario Grant Janoi Barrett Troy Morgan Donje Goldburn Giovanni McLean Jaden Davis Romario Gibbs DeAndre Jackson Malik Campbell and uh, Saviano Johnson they're coached by Ricky Miller they line up as a 4-3-3 it is Jackie High Here's the lineup for Cedric Titus High. In goal, Amari Wedderburn. They have a back five of Christopher Walters, Amasoy Rose, Daniel Powell, Kamari Gordon, Malik Foster. Three in the middle, Devontae Houghton, Rashawn Small, and McCoy Barrett. Their player to watch five goals, ten assists this season. And up top, Ashani, uh, Ashwain, rather, Minto, and Teron Eccleston. Those are the strikers there, coached by St. Derek Price. Lights. Taki started the most fruitful of the two teams and early in the encounter DeAndre Jackson had that shot and it was a glorious effort Amari Wedderburn had to come a big in goal for Cedric Titus Giovanni McLean the danger man was lurking but unable to get a header to it they would continue Taki and this time the point man Giovanni McLean fired wide and that would have been disappointing from a man with 12 goals to his credit from the earlier rounds. Here, another ball lifted up to him. And Giovanni McLean unable to make full use of the service from Romario Gibbs, the 20 assist man. They had their own op opportunities, did Cedric Titus and Teron Eccleston fired that shot and Romario Grant, his head was crucial in spearing their bluffs. In the second half action now. Eccleston lifting this across. And Kimari Johnson in goal was able to avert the danger. Another attempt from the corner. And Johnson making, wasting no time in punching that one. That was another corner kick. But yeah, that's how the action ended. Barry Naflik saw enough. Nil all at the end of 90 minutes. Here's a look at the match statistics. Two shots on target from 15 for Taki. Three on target from 12 for Cedric Titus. 20 fouls, 12 to Taki. One yellow card for Cedric Titus. Seven offsides, five to Taki. Six corners to Cedric Titus, four to Taki. Two saves apiece. And the Lions share the possession going to Cedric Titus, 53. But at the end of the 90 minutes, the score. Nil all between Taki High and Cedric Titus High in the second round fixture of the Dacosta Cup. We go now to Kimani who has the Sports Facts Man of the Match. Kimani O'Sullivan, over to you. All right, thank you, Dean. I'm here with the Sports Max Man of the Match, Romario Gibbs of Taki High School. Congratulations, Romario. Thanks. It's only nil all. You didn't get to score a goal today, but your performance stood out. Speak to me about your instructions out there. Well, we've been chained hard, so we have to come and do what we have to do. Well, you didn't get the win, but you have another chance to beat this team. Do you, are you confident that you can beat them in the next game? Yes, sure. And in terms of how excited you were to put on this performance on TV? Well, it's a great feeling because I've been working hard in training, so I have to do what I have to do. All right, thank you, Romario. All the best. Thanks. Yeah, that's Romario Gibbs there from Taki High. I'm joined now by Coach Miller from Taki as well. Coach Miller, nothing to separate you and your alma mater today. Speak to me about your game. Yeah. Well, nothing to separate us. Um, second leg will be the decider, and we definitely have to go back on the drawing board and come stronger, although we get the better of the game today. But 0-0, zero, zero, they are still in it. We just need to come harder and get the result. Not many chances for Cedric Titus today. Speak to me about your performance of your backline in particular. Well, for me, the backline was the, the man of the match for us. Um, they stood, they follow instruction right throughout. Um, it's just the finishing touch um, where we have a problem. 
we got a num numerous chances, six clear chances, and we didn't convert one. And, you know, goals win games, not chances. All right, thank you, Coach. All the best. Have a good one. Yeah, that was Coach Miller there. We'll be hearing from Coach Price now, from Cedric Titus. Coach, not a very eventful game in the end, but what did you take from the performance? Well, in terms of our players just not concentrating, not following simple instructions that they were given. So therefore, we just have to get back to training and try to see if we can work it out and come back in the next game and take it. And a few of your boys look knackered at the end. Um, many mm. injuries going on during, mm. the, during the game. Yes. Um, is that a concern going into the next leg? It, it was a concern coming into this game because we would have tapped the group from early on and we had to play at three extra games, which didn't make any sense to me. However, um, in terms of injuries, we have a number of injuries. We have about six players who are injured right now. So therefore, we just have to work with it and try to see how best we can med medicine or all of that. Thank you, Coach. All the best. Yeah, thank you.